The Mac Easy Prime Automatic Primer Feed. Just do a quick video on how you install this on your Mac Junior Mark V single stage reloading press. First thing you have to do is remove the repriming punch. This seats the new primer every time you bring it down on a stroke. So we've already loosened the screw off. Take the screw out. And remove the punch. Put that to one side. The Easy Prime will come with a, a new primer punch tube, but it's hollow, so it allows the primers to fall down through it. So that goes in place. of the primer punch tube. Put that in place. I'll just do it finger tight for now. So we've got that in place. Now, now we've got to remove the reconditioning die. Take off the resizing ring, unscrew the tube. There's a knot at the top there, if you can see that. That needs to be slackened off, so we've got a gap there. There's the Easy Prime. Take off the primer lid. Alright, you'll see that cut out part there. That goes underneath the knot on the uh, resizing sleeve nut. So that goes underneath there. And it's got to be fed around the back. So it sits on top, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, told you wrong. Right, we've removed the primer punch. We've re removed the reconditioning die tube and resizing ring and slackened the nut off on the top so we've got a gap there. Get the Easy Prime now. Got to feed the arm. That arm there goes around the back and sits on top of the resizing Resizing die, it's a bit trick, bit fiddly. Oh. That goes around the back there. It sits on top of the resizing die. Now we've got the new priming punch, which is hollow, which also serves as a drop tube. That goes up now through there. You can see that. The nut sits on top of it. Let's screw that up into place now. Just do it all loose for now. 
Easy Prime sits over the top of the tube then, like so. It's around there, it's over there. Right, tighten that up. Go grips now on the tube. Just to hold that, stop it spinning. Spanner on the nut at the top. Tighten that up. Make sure the arms are still over the top of the resizing die. And we can Retighten the cartridge kicker back up. Pair of grips. Tighten that top knot up. Get the conditioning sleeve, stick that back on. Tighten that up. Put the resizing ring back on. So we've got a couple of mil gap at the bottom on the base plate. Right, take a closer look. Right, that's installed now. Won't do anything at the moment. Pull the handle all the way down. Nothing's happening. Right. Got a loaded cartridge there. Put that in the final station, pull it down, and you can see, you can see a lever on the top there, and that goes up, pushes the arm up, which operates the lever and the spring, return spring. That in turn pulls the arm down, grabs a primer and dumps one down. There you go, so every time you put a cartridge in the finished station it sends a primer down. A box of primers there, Jedi primers, CX 2000s, slide that down, I think there's 50 or so left in there, just make sure they're all the right way up. Put the plastic cover in place. Right. Now. Pull it down now. Actuate the lever. Picked up a primer. Dropped it down the tube. It's ready in the pre prime station. Saves you handling the primers, messing about, picking them up one at a time.
I'll load one up now and watch it work. Load a couple up now, just show you how it works. Camera's in the way. That was the case. Put that on there. Primed. Some powder. The wad in, dump the shot, pre crimp, final crimp. Prime has dropped. Arch is finished. Palm is ready. Speed to top. There we go. Three shells loaded, ready to go again. I hope you like this short video on the Mac Easy Prime and how quick and easy to install it and how much more efficient it makes you at reloading your shells. As always, please like and subscribe for more of my videos. Thanks for watching.